All right, welcome back, everybody. Time now for Great Day Food. For so many of us, fall means football season. And if you're hosting a watch party, there are easy ways to spend less time in the kitchen on game day and yeah. more time enjoying the game. And here with us now is Jacob Bolette, the social and media relations specialist for one of the favorites, right? Stonewall Kitchen. So we're talking about get, making game day cooking yes. quick and easy. No one yes. wants to spend a bunch of time in there, but no. especially if you're having friends over, you want to look like you have good food because food is such a part of it. Well, and that's what that's what Stonewall Kitchen's all about, right? Yeah. We make it simple, but we make it absolutely delicious and a nice presentation as well. So, yeah. I mean, because again, you want to spend less time in the kitchen, more Absolutely. time in front of the TV, right? And this company's been around since 1991, 1991. up in York, Maine. I've been there several times. It's a wonderful yes. facility. Go, I recommend it. You can take the tour, you get the samples, or you can go to Evergreen Walk, where we have a shop right there as oh, well. Yeah. All right, so wait, we have easy access to it. So uh, what's the first thing you want to teach us? So the first thing is, is you can't have a game day without wings, right? Yeah, absolutely. Chicken wings and everything. Yeah. So we actually have two new products as part of our wing line and our hot honey wing sauce. Super simple. You get three pounds of wings, yeah. salt and pepper, in the oven for 30 minutes, and then you take it out, whip up about three quarters of that bottle with the hot, with the hot honey wing sauce, pop it back in the oven for 10 minutes, you're done. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. So it has the, I mean, the, uh, the mixture of a spicy Dijon mustard, the honey, of course, the uh, the fiery cayenne pepper, oh. or if you want the classic heat, you can swap it out with our buffalo wing sauce or even our brand new hickory brown sugar grill oh sauce. That's so awesome. absolutely that's delicious. delicious. And the other thing is there's a lot of stuff out there like that, but it's maybe filled with, you know, things you don't want to eat. Yours is all high quality uh, yes. ingredients. We, oh, Sourcing the ingredients is very important to us. That's what we focus on every day with our products is making sure that we put the highest quality ingredients in there. So that way it's for everyone that can enjoy and they can actually feel good about what they're yeah, putting in their yeah. body as well. Right. Let's, yeah. let's move on. I love these. I love these these dips, uh, what is it, uh, chipotle salsa, yes. black bean salsa. So you can't have game day without nachos either. No, yeah. so I love it. You had, I mean, again, super simple. Sheet pan again, lay out your tortilla chips. Did you know Snowball Kitchen had tortilla I chips? I did not know yes, that. Yes, we do. I didn't know yes, that. Yes, we do. Yeah. So throw on your favorite shredded treat, cheese, throw on your favorite vegetables, whether it's olives, onions, peppers, whatever you name it, um, and then top it off with your favorite salsa or queso. My favorite, personally, is the pineapple chipotle salsa. Touch of sweet touch of spice, perfect. And then of course, why not put on bacon queso? Oh, of course. Bacon queso, exactly. Bacon queso. And then the best part about it is if you don't want to go the nachos route, it's just simple dip and you go. You can dip it. Dip As, and go. Should you serve it warm, like just warm it up? Yeah, absolutely. Kate, warm up the queso and you're ready to go. That's should it. I open Gosh. this? Go for it. Why not? Okay. We, I don't make the rules. <laughs> this is also, you know, chili is a game day favorite. This is actually great if you're having some folks over who are plant-based, mm, yes. but they're not going to miss it. This is a hearty plant-based, easy chili. So we Absolutely. just get this mix and then just add a few things. Add a few things. So that's part of our Urban Accents line. Urban Accents joined our family of brands early last year, and they have a, we have a wonderful line of plant-based meatless mixes. So okay. you, uh, it replaces a full pound of ground beef but it still provides that great chili taste. So you only okay. add a few, a few items to it. So you soak that in hot water for five minutes, that's it. And then you add it to a, a simmering pot with tomato sauce, onions, peppers, pinto beans, or your favorite bean of choice, and within 30 minutes, you're done. That's it. That's it. That's it. You're done. And then soy base. Soy base. Small batches and our custom spices, flavorful vegetarian chili. So people, you know, the thing about vegetarian chili is you'd have to get 10,000 ingredients, chop them all up, takes a long exactly. time. No, this just makes this, it great. It's in a bag. Exactly. Yeah, and Because, I mean, nowadays the quick and easy chilies, I mean, they're fine, but they don't have that this flavor. This is going to seem like you worked all day. Exactly. Don't even tell exactly. them you cheated. Exactly. You don't want to do that. <laughs> and then, of course, if you want to uh, mix in some favorite, your favorite spice with either your favorite smash burger or whip up a quick uh, dip as well. That's so Stonewall cool. has those needs for you. Look Ooh. at this dip. All it says, all you'll need, one cup of sour cream and then some of the seasoning. That's it's, it. It's great, isn't it? Quick and easy. That's the whole point of game day. Quick and easy, more time in front. We only have about a minute left. I want to make sure we get to this. Yes. You want the cocktails? Absolutely. You do want the cocktails. <laughs> of course well, I do. How are you going to be on game day without a cocktail, cocktail in hand? So our margarita mixer, my favorite, or mix it up with a Bloody Mary. And then that pairs very nicely with our Tillin Farms brand, our pickled vegetables. Fantastic. Absolutely. I mean, you can eat them straight out of the jar, too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you want a snack, go for it. And then that that container at the very yeah, end, I'm the ultimate bar mix. That, that looks like a big container, but I'm going to tell you one thing: you're not sharing it. Uh, exactly. You're not sharing it whatsoever. So that's that's my person. I mean, I can I can talk about all of these all day now, long. Now, I, I just I, it was one of my dreams to work at Stonewall Kitchen, that wonderful factory and that beautiful space where you sell everything. How'd you get the job? 
I just, hey, you just, I saw the posting, I reached out, and apparently they liked me well enough to take me. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Again, York, Maine, get off the highway, I think it's exit 7, yes. off of 95. You follow it right to the end, you get off, and it's Stonewall Kitchen is right there. For more information, you can go to at Stonewall Kitchen. They're on Facebook and Instagram, stonewallkitchen.com. Yeah. Fun field trip. You say it's only about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Two and a half That's hours. Great. That's great. Totally awesome. Thank you so you much. Come home Thank with you. all the good food. All right. Thank you for being here, everyone. And we will continue now with all the latest developments for Eyewitness News at 4.